Hello everyone and welcome back to another very exciting video. Well, not very exciting, but pretty exciting. Today's video is the NG Models 1 to 400 releases for November 2020. They have just come out earlier this morning. I had school, just finished school, now I'm recording this video. So, uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it with the first model, which is the Delta 737-800, just in the standard Delta livery. I'm so glad NG has finally made this one because the Gemini Jets version is not very great. The, wi the wings are flexed so badly, so it's not the best model in the world, uh, but so yeah, really great to get that. Next up, uh, we have e the uh, WestJet 737-800, which is interesting, with split scimitar winglets. This is in the older livery because I don't think they painted any of their 800s into the new livery yet. This is good because Gemini Jets, the, the Gemini Jets version of this is pretty rare, and but yes, yeah, so that's also very exciting. And then the uh, there's also a second version of that with a sl with slightly different, but it is that is in the one, uh, number 100 Boeing uh, 737 NG uh, with split scimitar winglets. So I, basically the 100th Boeing 737 like next generation. As what I, I'm sorry guys, I'm very like off today. I've just suddenly started recording this video. I'm trying to get this done because I do not have a lot of time this afternoon. So. Uh, next up, we do have the Air China uh, 737-800, a lot of 737s in this releases, in the uh, 2022 Beijing Olympic Winter Games, and so that's a very interesting livery. It looks pretty nice, uh, obviously won't be getting it because that is a China jet that flies like around China. I don't know why I can't pronounce anything today or think about what I'm going to say. Uh, but yes, also I did probably forget to mention, I will try to pick up the Delta 737-800 if I have the extra money, which I probably won't, so there's a good chance I won't be getting that, but if I, I really want that model, so I might. Anyway, uh, next up we have the Zyman Air 737-800 in the Beijing Daxing livery. Uh, just a pretty simple livery, looks pretty good, uh, pretty nice, so yeah. It looks good. Won't be getting it, obviously. Next up, we have the China Southern 737-800 in the hometown Henan livery. It looks pretty good. Obviously, won't be getting it. Okay, uh, finally, out of the 737s into the 757s. There are four of them. Uh, first up, we have the British Airways 757-200 uh, in the pause to remember livery. Uh, looks pretty good, pretty simple, always good. Uh, but then next up we have the uh, second British Airways 757-200 in the open skies livery. Uh, basically that is like, it's a bit of an odd livery. I don't think it looks very good, but I mean, it's your, that's your opinion. All these aircraft are retired now, so we're not gonna be getting any of them. Uh, and then finally we have a British Airways 757-200 in the uh, Union flag with our B211-5353 uh, C engine. Um, so very nice model, looks good, it's just a base, that's basically, if you did not know, that's like pretty much a basic, uh, 75, British Airways 757. Uh, and then finally for 757s, we do have the La Compagine, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, 757-200, very nice livery, it does look pretty cool. Uh, after that we do have a Boeing 747-SP in the... It, I'm not actually sure what that's called because it's literally just a logo. It's not an, and no, there's no actual titles. But basically, that's you can probably see there or there. Uh, that that does look pretty good. So that's uh, pretty nice to have. And then the other 747SP is the uh, retro South African Airways uh, 747SP. If you did not know, South African Airways actually ceased operations last week, I think. So that's pretty sad. They're still trying to pull through, but it's not looking good for them. So, uh, too bad that South African Airways looks like they're gonna go, but anyway, that is in the, uh, delivery livery, uh, in, from the 1970s. After that, another a very exciting model, we do have the JetBlue Airbus A321neo. So that is very exciting because we do not get many JetBlue aircraft from anybody, and they are pretty rare. Although this is one of the more common ones, as uh, Waffle still has a lot of them in stock, I think. And then I also know uh, RM Model Store still has these in stock. So, but those that's the Gemini Jets version. This is the NG version. I honestly did not even know NG made a Neo, but apparently they do. But uh, this is a very nice looking model. I have... I'm, try I'm, I'm mixed feelings I'm going to pick this up or not because 
uh, it, it is a JetBlue plane and I need all that I can get for Newark, but the Neo also does not fly to Newark right now, so I kind of got mixed feelings on that, uh, so might get that, might not. Uh, anyway, next up we do have the Air Canada Rouge A321-200. Uh, I really like their livery, but don't have any use for it, so probably will not be picking it up. Uh, and then, next up we do have the Royal Air Force A330 MRTT, or better known as the RAF Voyager. Uh, very nice look, I love this livery. Gemini Jets made one last month, I believe, or the month before, and obviously Gemini Jets A330 mold sucks, so probably, mm, I'm probably, I, I might go for this because it's just such a nice livery, and it's the kind of model that you just get, uh, so I'm, I'm not really sure about that one. Uh, then next up, we do have the Malaysia Airlines Airbus A330-300 in the Malaysia... I'm, please correct me on that if I'm wrong, uh, but ba basically that's delivery with the uh, sun and the moon. That is a, I, I, I think, I don't know what the deal is with them, but they have like, a lot of their pla planes are painted in that livery. So uh, yes, they do have that. And then uh, the other one is that same livery, just with the One World titles, uh, as they are a member of One World. So two pretty similar models. Um, so yes, pretty nice. Uh, next up, we do have the China Southern A330-300 in the China International Import Expo uh, special livery. And this does look interesting. It's basically got a bunch of little pandas jumping around and some flowers. Uh, you can Obviously, you can see that. But very, oh, very nice model. Uh, looks good. Won't be getting it, obviously. Don't really have use for it. Another very interesting model, we have the Airbus Beluga XL, uh, and that is the A330, and that is in the number three livery. Uh, that is a very interesting model because that's just like an a iconic plane for Airbus, the Beluga is. So might be getting that, might not, really not sure on that one. And this video is now seven minutes, really stretching this on long, but there are a lot of releases and I can't talk today. So next up, we do have a Delta um, A350-900, just any standard livery. We, the Gemini Jets one for this, I believe, just sold out. So uh, you can still find it on eBay though, but I'm, I I really don't know about NG's A350 mold because I, it's very new and I don't have a single NG A350. So <clears throat> we'll see about that. Uh, but next up we do have, and well, finally, I just realized, the um, Iberia A350 900. Now these are very new. I believe they just got these what a few few like maybe less than a year ago i don't really know but anyway i, I do really like iberia's new livery uh and i have actually f actually flown iberia that's i think the only foreign airline i've actually flown uh, i flew them a lot when i went to uh lisbon uh when i was like five uh so i flew in their a340 and once and then the or the 300 and then multiple a320s so that's pretty cool and i really do like their new livery so i may consider picking that up and, but I mean, I'll just have to wait and see, but that does look very good. Uh, but yeah, everyone, that, those are the releases. No one to 200 this month. I don't usually go over one to 200 since this channel is really focused on one to 400. But anyway, everyone, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if you have time, leave a comment down below. I'm sorry this video is so rushed and it's now almost nine minutes long. This is the longest releases video I've probably ever done and I am sorry for that fact. But I mean, <laughs> What do you want me to do about it? There's a lot of releases and my voice is about to go out. So anyway, everyone, I do hope you all have an incredible rest of your day and I will see you later. Goodbye.